Hey guys, welcome to your love reading. Uh, this is going to be for Aries for your uh, March 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what you what's next for you guys in love, okay? Uh, depending on what situation you guys are in. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Aries people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, uh, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So Aries, tell me about Aries. Um, what's next in love for Aries? What's next in love for Aries? Tell me about Aries in love. What's next for, uh, for Aries in love for March 2024? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Aries. What's next in love for Aries? What's next in love for Aries? <clears throat> Okay, so we have the Hierophant here, Taurus Energy. With the Ace of Wands, there could be a passion new beginning that's coming in for you here, Aries. Whoever this is, you know, it could be a situation that you could be very, very, very loyal to this person. This person could be very loyal to you. Uh, this person has strong core values, good morals here. Okay, that's too many. Hold on one sec. With the Ten of Swords, okay. We have a death card here. Interesting. It could be that it could be a situation that this person was loyal to you, but then the, be, the, and then they were not loyal to you, and they feel like this person was acting or behaving with their little thing between their legs. We have a star card here, Aquarius energy. So there could be an ending that's happening here, where I feel like someone here is definitely realizing your worth here or that they realize that they took you for granted here. And I feel like this person's realizing that they made a wrong decision here. Uh, so Aquarius energy with the star card, the death card, Scorpio energy, the ten of swords, ace of wands, the higher fit here, Taurus energy. Tell me the higher fit here. Why is the higher fit here? The higher fit here and the knight of swords. Okay. Someone here is coming in to make some big promises here to you. If this person betrayed you, if this person betrayed you because they had a weak moment here, um, I feel like this person cannot stop thinking about you and they're definitely rushing back in to communicate with you and speak with you here. The Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, tell me the Ten of Swords here. Why is the Ten of Swords here? I feel like you knew all along that this person was definitely doing something behind your back here with the Ace of Cups. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person is madly in love with you or that they realize that they're in love with you after they made this huge mistake here with the Empress here, Libra Taurus. Then this person completely took you for granted here and this person definitely wants to apologize for doing that. Uh, the Empress Libra Taurus energy or with a star card here and the Three of Swords. Okay, so what we have here is I feel like this person definitely put you in some sort of third party situation here. Okay, they definitely want to come back around and make things right here with you. They don't want to lose you here, Aries. Okay, so we we have the Page of Pentacles here and the Ace of Swords. So I, yeah, this person's definitely coming in back and with an apology here. They're realizing that they made a wrong decision here. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, I feel like this person maybe acted that they were loyal to here too, but this person was definitely doing something behind your back. Could be a situation that you knew all along that this person was doing something behind your back here. So we have someone here that's definitely rushing in with a uh, you know, with a passion new beginning here. This person's in love with you. This person wants to reconnect with you again. Okay. Uh, the thing about this individual, this person's very very in and out. Seems like this person's the type of person that, that makes promises that they don't keep here. What else do we have? And they, they tend to have, they have a tendency to have options here too. Even though they say that they don't, they do. What else do we have for, for Aries? What else does Aries need to know, look out for, work on when it comes to this love situation here? So we have the uh, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So when it comes to this individual here, I feel like you just don't want to put any more energy into this person here. You know, I feel like you just... Yeah, I feel like, you know, some of you guys might be coming off very mean to this individual here too, or that you're ignoring this person, or that you're you're just don't want to put any sort of uh, energy towards this individual. With the Page of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So I feel, yeah, I feel like you don't want to talk to this person because this person has 
dropped the ball here a couple of times. Page of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here. With the Two of Pentacles here. You know, it's quite interesting because I feel like this person realizes that they, realizes that they made a mistake here, but I also feel like this person doesn't really know what, really know what they want, what they're looking for, okay? Seems like this person tends to go back and forth or that this person's really, really indecisive here. With the King of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, seems like this person's in love with you. You know, it seems like this person is madly in love with you in the Nine of Swords here, and they feel like this person's, like, losing sleep over you. This person's stressed out. This person's anxious. This person's worried here. Um, you know, I, I feel like not. this is not the first time that this person has done this. I feel like this person has done this multiple times here, Aries. What else do we have? The, Knight of, uh, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse here, and the Nine of Wands. I feel like you've been hurt by this individual many, many, many times. I feel like this person has been, uh, you know, has apologized, but I feel like this person hasn't really made any changes to improve things here with you at the Queen of Wands here. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. I really feel like this person definitely has someone under their wing here. And I feel like this person t tends to circle back to this individual here. They, they'll tell you that, you know, I don't want this individual. I don't want to be with this individual. But you always catch them, uh, catch them uh, with them. You know, you always catch your person with them. We have the Knight of Pentacles here and the Hangman here. <clears throat> it just seems like this person doesn't know what they want or what they're looking for here. It seems like this person does, does have a, a hard time learning from their past mistakes here. Uh, I really don't feel like or see this coming back together here. Um, it seems like this person has a tendency, you know, to come in, you know, eager to be with you, but then they pull their energies back here. And I do feel like this person will do that again here. The Two of Pentacles here and the Nine of Cups. They know that you are their wish fulfillment here, but I feel like this person just can't seem to get it right or seems to get it, get it together here. Okay, the Nine of Cups, the uh, King of Cups. So why is the King of Cups here? The King of Cups here and the Nine of Pentacles here. So this person's definitely finding you someone who is very attractive, someone who is self-sufficient, someone who is independent. They really like that, uh, like that about you and they admire you for that. But for some reason, I feel like this person is just not, so just a complete total opposite of you. Uh, Nine of Pentacles here and the King of Cups. We have the Nine of Swords here and the Three of Cups. Yeah, so I feel like this person is losing sleep over you you they're losing sleep basically you have the opportunity to go out there to meet other people you know and i feel like this is making this person really jealous because you're moving on you're talking to other people you know uh you're making an effort to meet new people to see what's out there so you know i do feel like this person's definitely going to become very 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 jealous once you start going out there to meet new people perhaps you already have you know, and it's making this person really jealous and they might be bombarding you with messages here, okay? But you made a decision to end this relationship here because I feel like you just don't want to want to re repeat the same patterns over and over and over again. And it could be a situation that you just know better this time around because this person can't be trusted because they lie and they let you down and they disappoint you. And with the Sun card, this could be an indication that you've been happy without this person here, all right? So Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comments section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the note hit the notification bell and i will speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye